show you a little new perfume that I have bought. This is the Discover Sunset and it is just a perfume from M&S. I rave about M&S perfumes because they are so cheap but they are also like so good. This is a limited edition. It has notes of pistachio, tuberose and tonka. And it does smell like like you're going you're like on holiday going on a walk at the sunset to the beach. I would what I would say is I feel like I liked it more, you know, when I was testing it out. And then I brought it home and when I put it on I'm like, I don't think I like it as much. I feel like for me I don't it's not even sweet, but I feel like it's a little bit too sickly, if that makes sense. Um, I will use the entire bottle, like I'm just gonna get through it. But I feel like I preferred it better when I first tested it out. But again, I like to put it on. This is literally like eight pounds, well it was 10 pounds. Um, for 100 mil. And it does stay on really well and it is super strong. So I would, if you were in the UK, definitely like recommend checking out the beauty section at MS. things aren't, but this one is. And 
there's a certain blush bath bomb which really smells like this. It is nice for summer. Again, it's a little bit sweet, like a little bit, si not sickly, but it's a little bit too sweet for what I usually go for, but again, it lathers up really, really well. You can shave with this, which I love. I love it when like you, you've got like what, you've got a body wash that lathers up so well, you can shave with it. And it does smell like fresh and nice for, for summer and spring. I used to like when taking my kids to 
accessory and then walk into work in the wand. I used to have to like top up when I got to work, but not with this. This is insane. It's so good. Um, I have ordered some refills and I've reordered the Thunderstorm one because I do like that scent and I know it works. And then I've also ordered a couple of other scents to try out. So I will definitely give you an update when they arrive. But what I would say is if you into your minds about trying wild, if you're interested in trying it, it really works. I will see if I have a link that I can put in the description to get you some like money off. Um I'll double check. I feel like I had a code when I was signing up, but I will see and if I do it'll be linked below. But I would definitely recommend trying it. Because it's so good, it's getting like really natural, better for your skin, better than you know, spray deodorants. So it's something that I'll definitely be continuing with. Um, next up, I have been trying these face facts blemish patches. I have never tried like a blemish patch. I'm gonna put one on before I go to sleep because as you can see, I have a little couple of little breakouts here. Um, so I thought, oh, I always see people wearing things like this. I wonder if they work. So I saw these and they're so cute because they're little stars. So I'm gonna try these for the next week or so or, you know, whenever I have a little breakout, which like my skin's, I rarely kind of get like breakouts, but you know, I'm only human. So it says these are powered by salicylic acid. How do you say that? This acid that everyone knows is in like loads of skin washes and stuff and is good for spots and pimples. It's fragrance free and it's cute heart shapes. And it says it targets, targets blemishes and absorbs impurities. And these ones are vegan. These ones are super cheap. I saw them in Home Bargains and I was like, I will try them. Is there like a specific brand that is really good? If there is, let me know because I want to try like the ones that are like, like top notch. So let me know which, which ones are the most popular. But I've been trying these and I thought, They'd be, they're fun and I thought that I'd see if they actually work. So yeah. And then I have recently been trying some new skincare products. Um, well actually, first of all, this is like my most, like this is like the only face wash that I actually get. But I thought I picked up a new one so I thought I'd show you. I get the Simple Age Resisting Facial Wash. They've recently had like a rebrand. If you've watched some of my shorts, I might get ready with me shorts. You'll see that in them. Um, and it looks different, but it's the same. This has 3% hydrating actives, plus green tea and mushroom. Deep peak cleanses and revitalizes skin. I love Simple. I love Simple. Um, I usually, like, I, this is what I mainly go for in skincare, is I mainly go for Simple stuff because it is sensitive. Even though I don't necessarily, I don't think I have sensitive skin, but I know that, like, there's no harsh chemicals in and it's also vegan um, and like I just remember growing up like we'd always have like simple stuff so I always I tried to go for loads of like simple products I sometimes try different brands but this is like my like simple is like my staple holy grail brand skincare brand that I go for so I recommend I love this face wash lathers up really well again so I've got a new night cream and I got the simple age resisting night cream which is just this one I wanted a separate night cream and day cream because I wanted to get a day moisturizer with an SPF in especially because we're going into like summer I know that you need to wear like an SPF every day um, but it just makes life easier when it's already in the moisturizer which we'll get on to next but yeah picked up this night cream it goes well with the face 
face wash simple like I just don't think you can go wrong with simple and it is really hydrating fights premature aging and again has the green tea and a mushroom in and it says regeneration on it so that is that I also am trying now which I've never tried before this simple serum booster serum and this is the 10% vitamins C plus E plus F so I use this twice a day before my moisturizer so after I've like you know cleansed and washed my face I put this on and then I moisturize um,
Elephant's like, because I can only use two fingers, so yeah. Finally, is it a hair product? And I have been using the Inecto Naturals Miracle Hydration Oil, hair oil made with 100% natural, natural coconut oil, silicone free. Just wanted my hair to be a little bit more hydrated. And this was super cheap. Again, this was like, I didn't go out to buy hair oil. I just saw this when I was in Home Bargains and it was like so inexpensive that I thought I will just give it a go. Um, I know a lot of hair oils can be expensive, so. But I was just like, you can't go wrong with like 100% oh, coconut oil, surely. So we're gonna give it a chance. And I've just been putting it in after I wash my hair and then after when it's dry um not so much when it's like nearly a hair wash day because i probably don't want to add oil to it but yeah i'm gonna see how my hair gets on with this over the next few weeks and see if i can see a difference those are all the like skincare self-care that I have picked up recently and that I have been trying. Um, I'm excited to see how I get on with them. Let me know. Also, well done if you've got to the end of this video. Let me know if you managed to get to the end of this video. And let me know if you've got any recommendations for some nice, soothing skincare 